Hey everybody and welcome back to Gray County Grillin'. Chris here and today we are going to make some bacon starting from scratch. Costco had a whole pork belly on sale so we picked a couple up. This is just half of one here just makes it easier to manage when you cut it in half. And with bacon the first step that you have to do is get some cure on it and for the cure we have about one third of a cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of kosher salt, uh, one teaspoon of prog powder curing salt, and I've also got about one and a half tablespoons of herbs de Provence in there just to add a uh, little bit of a different flavor. So what you want to do is pour about half of your rub on, or half of your cure on, and then get it spread all over. Flip, pork belly over, and then do the same here on the fat side. And there we go. We're going to do the same to the other half uh, just a little bit later on. What you're going to do now is take part that you've got cured. You're going to put it into a Ziploc bag, make sure you squeeze out all the air, and then put it in the fridge. And you're going to leave it in the fridge for seven days. Make sure though that you flip it every day because after about a day or two, you're going to start to notice some liquid forming in the bag. And that's pulling all, that's all the moisture that's getting pulled out of this pork belly. And you just want to make sure that you flip it every day so that uh, both sides get the same treatment. So I'm going to get this one into a bag, do up the next one, get these in the fridge, and then we will take a look at what they look like in a day or two. And this is after three days. This is what the bacon looks like. You flip it over and check it out. You know, there is a good amount of liquid in there already, which is perfect. You want the cure to draw the liquid out. I know these bags are awful tight, but <laughs> I didn't have anything bigger, so that's what we're gonna go with. Anyway, this is after three days in the cure. So it's looking pretty good, and we're gonna put it back in the fridge. Four more left. Today is the day. We've had the bacon curing for eight days. Went one extra day just because uh, yesterday was kind of busy and I didn't have a chance to get it out on the smoker but today we will get this bacon cooked so here's what it looks like after it's been curing for eight days you can see the herbs de Provence and everything is just sticking to the uh, outside what we're gonna do we've got a couple steps to do before we get it on the smoker first we're going to rinse it off and then get it inside a container filled with water and just let it soak. The last time I made bacon, it was super salty. The problem was because I just kind of gave it a quick rinse after the cure, didn't wash all of the salt off, didn't uh, soak it to try and pull any of the extra salt out. So that's what we're gonna do first and then let it sit for about 30 minutes. Then after that, take it out, dry it off, and then set it in the fridge uncovered for about an hour. You just want the outside to get a little firm and tacky before we put it on the smoker, and that's what we'll do. We are getting the smoker ready. You can see I've got the Minion method set up here with not a whole lot of charcoal around because uh, it's only gonna take three or four hours, I think. Got our chimney starting there. Don't want those to get too hot because we want to keep this fairly low, about 200 to 225. I don't want to go over 225 for this cook because we want to cook that bacon slow and we want to get it good and smoked. So the wood we got here, I got a couple pieces of black cherry and one of hickory that didn't burn during my last cook. So I'm just going to reuse it. And then I've got another chunk of hickory right here. Again, <laughs> not totally used in my last cook that I will put on this as well once I get the other charcoal tossed on. So we'll just wait for a few more minutes and get her ready. 
And we finally got the two chunks of bacon on. You can see I'm using both racks on the smoker because it's just not quite big enough. So I got probes in each. We're looking for an internal temperature of 150. At that point, we can pull it off because it will be done. All right, we'll check back in in a little bit. So according to the Inkbird thermometer, one of the bacons is done. Um, and I'm not sure which, because I forget which probe I put into which one, but I think it's the one in the middle. That's the one that's closest to the fire. So we'll, we'll take a look and see with an instant read if that is the one. Okay, so uh, I might have it a little funny in there and it's not quite reading properly. So we'll take a look at the top one. probably reading way too deep and we set them and then we'll come back we're at about three and a half hours and I think we are looking at the end for this bacon so I'm gonna take the lid off the smoker we'll check the one on top and if it's hit 150 then we are done because the one below has been cooking roughly about the same so let's take a look part of that pork belly so we are going to call this done pull it off and we're going to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours so that it gets a little more solid and it's going to make it a little bit easier for slicing we'll see you once that happens and here is the bacon all done after sitting in the fridge for about a day to uh, firm it up to make it hopefully easier to cut Gavin expressing his enthusiasm. Yep. It looks pretty good. And I've got Tracy here. She's going to help cut a slice off for us to give a taste. Well, that looks pretty good in there. That looks like bacon. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, so. Do you want the end piece or should I cut another one? Yeah, maybe cut another one, sure. So we're going to slice this all up and put it into... Look, that looks like a piece of bacon. That looks much more like bacon than the last one I did. That looks like a piece of bacon. Good yeah, job. Good. All right, do you want to try it? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. That's yeah, what I meant to say. Okay. You want me to try this or what? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to... I was just going to go with my fingers. Oh, but... don't go in with your fingers. Here. There you go. Gavin? Okay, here we go. Bottom up. Oh, that is good. That is not too bad. That is excellent. Uh -huh. Not too salty. No. Good flavor. A little bit of sweetness. Yeah, I don't know where this, all the sweetness comes from the brown sugar in the cure. I like it. Yeah, that tastes really good. Yeah. Good, good Gavin? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this video, you hit the thumbs up down below. Don't forget to share with your friends. Leave me a comment as well. And if you haven't yet, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video.
don't forget my Amazon affiliate links and Patreon as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Woohoo!